Basketball is Duke in South Dakota State. We welcome those of you who just finished watching the conclusion of Boise State and their victory over Clemson today. This is Brookings, South Dakota, first bank and trust arena, a fantastic non-conference top 25 battle between Duke of the ACC, South Dakota State of the Summit League, alongside Missy Heydrick and Anna Bellinghausen. I'm Alex Seinert. A sold-out First Bank and Trust here today in the southeastern pocket of South Dakota. 5,500 strong, all wearing right, trying to will the Jacks over this powerful team that reached the Sweet 16 a year ago. It is the Blue Devils by one, but not anymore, as Paige Meyer, the senior point guard, gets loose inside. Great back and forth action early, Missy. So far, it's been possession after possession, exactly what we expected. Both teams being able to execute what they want to do on the offense. You look at their roster, no one transferred out. They're a versatile group. They can play small, they can play big. Aaron Johnson and this staff have done a great job recruiting local kids from the upper Midwest. Not at the expense of success, though they were a sweet 16 a handful of years ago. The other thing Duke will do, they're going to shoot gaps. They're going to get out in passing lanes. You've got to be able to go back door, find a way to get open against this pressure. It was Jackson now off the window. Duke started one for six in this game. They've hit their last five shots. I think for this group of where they want to be as this season goes. It was Madison Mathewitz. Nice inbounds pass from Meyer. That backcourt combination helping the Jacks pull back within one. I mentioned Duke from a season ago, they returned four starters from the team that lost to UConn in the Sweet 16. Kennedy Brown is a big miss, the 6'6 center who Carol Lawson had said is the best defensive player I've ever coached. And getting your team into their offense. The system is critical today for South Dakota State. And the turnover forced by the Blue Devils. This is Jackson in transition. 
Ashlyn Jackson with nine already. You can see how fast this Duke team can be. We said they want to create chaos. At times it will be phonetic, but right now this pace is all playing into the hand of the Blue Devils. Brooklyn Meyer inside. Great patience by the junior. You have to be patient when you see that double team come. The piece of her game that has gone through the roof is her ability to finish in traffic and in contact. She makes the simple play, the hard play, look very easy, but they've got to be able to get the ball in her hands. Days is with her bucket of the quarter. They're really picking it up offensively now, a five-point lead. They've made eight of their last ten field goals. They have been incredibly efficient when they get to this end of the floor. Meyer on the drive. She is so tough to stop when she gets going downhill. Seven now for Brooklyn Meyer. And she is a handful for Jordan Wood, the 6'4 sophomore, who has been a big spark for Duke off the bench. But yet defensively, you've got to make those adjustments. They've got to think about throwing two, three bodies at Brooklyn Meyer. Shot clock turned off. To Jesus, to Wood inside, off the backboard and in for Jordan Wood. And that will be how the first quarter will come to a close. Not sleeping on this SDSU team. Coach actually warned us about this environment in the preseason and said they'll have to play this tough SDSU team. She told me the keys today are come in focus, be disciplined, because they know this SDSU team will bring it. Thank you, Anna. Ashlyn now a junior. Comes from a tiny town in Texas, China, Texas. Just to the east of Houston, between Houston and the Louisiana border. She told us, I wanted to get out of state, go someplace else after a really decorated prep career. She's found a nice home in Durham, North Carolina, a big part of Duke's success over the last two seasons. A rare miss for the Blue Devils in this first half. Richardson not quite on the mark. They had hit 8 of 10 to close out the first quarter. Both teams shooting 55% or better in the opening 10 minutes. Here is Katie Vasika, who is a 6'2 freshman from nearby T South Dakota. Brooklyn Meyer averaging a block a game so far this year. She'll try a three now. Brooklyn Meyer from downtown. That is her first three-point attempt of the season. If she adds that to her game, Missy. It's a whole nother level, but you can see Duke's got to kind of pick their poison. They're going to allow her to be out on the perimeter. When she put it on the floor a couple possessions earlier, she scored. You've got to be able to find a way to get her stopped. Thomas inside. A loose basketball picked up by Wood. Blocked again by Meyer. And Johnston with his hands on his head over there. This has not been a great free throw shooting team to no. start the season if you're Duke. Hits the first one there. And these are the kinds of possessions, sort of the ones, even though you don't get a bucket, you get to the free throw line. They can be big down the stretch. You mentioned Duke's free throw shooting woes, just 60% on the season. But they get there a ton, nearly 27 free throw attempts a game. That's tops in the ACC. And they do this better than anybody. Donovan forcing the turnover. It'll be a jump ball in the ends. You can't pick your dribble up. you got to keep it alive. Figure out a way to get out of there. But the old adage is if there's two players on me, someone else is open. you got to come to the basketball. Duke averages 17 steals a game. Also tops in the ACC as Jackson creates the space and drops the triple. Jackson with 12 now. That is on her average for the season. She has that in the opening 13 minutes of this one. Biggest lead of the game for Duke. The three by Basica not on the mark. Here come the Blue Devils in transition. It is Jackson. Donovan inside. The six-footer. The fadeaway off the window. Jada Donovan, just one of those unsung players that does a little bit of everything for this Duke team. At six foot, the sophomore plays much bigger, and she has been the top rebounder for this team. You saw her there just go one on one and be able to finish over the defender. Duke Devils now on a 7 0 run. The skip to Mathewitz. That's a big three for South Dakota State and Madison Mathewitz. There's a lot of opportunity there to win a lot of games in Durham. Donovan keeping it alive. It'll be Tyson to come down with the rebound in the ends. 
saw their loss and an Olympic gold medalist as a player in 08 and as a coach both in 2021 and in 2024 former WNBA champion. Well, she's been highly involved as well, not only in traditional 5v5, but also the 3v3 that has been part of the Olympics. Well, that won gold this past summer in Paris. Well, and the basketball runs really throughout the course of the two weeks of the Olympics. So you, know, you think about sometimes some of the other events, they finish earlier. Basketball's not like that. They play it all the way up to the very end. She spent most of the time in Lille, where the group stage was taking place a couple of hours away from the city center. Here's Tyson inside over Fournier. Good defense by the 6'2 freshman. Five-point ball game. Taina Mayer, the starting point guard for Duke. Akanawa, the sixth woman of the year in the ACC last year. Back to Fournier. Akanawa on the O board again. First half here in Brookings, South Dakota. The Duke Blue Devils, preseason number three in the ACC, national number 16 with a five point advantage over South Dakota State. Alex Seidert, Missy Hydrick, Anna Bellinghausen with you today. This is a stiff test, though, for Aaron Johnston's team today. Well, they knew that this was going to be a challenge. They've been to NCAA tournaments. They've seen this kind of competition. As a defender, you run into trouble. She's able to go both directions, over her right and to her left. they got to keep feeding her in the middle. Meyer finding Meyer inside. Another foul against the Blue Devils. Has really impressed so many people around the country. 6 Eastern, the Toronto Argonauts take on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in Canadian football's biggest game of the year. Great one coming up from Vancouver later tonight. 32-27 after the Meyer free throws. Brooklyn with 12. The pace, South Dakota State on 4 of 5 shooting. Donovan, two shorts. Tyson there. You allow Duke to rotate their defense. That's where you're going to see extra hands and a lot of traffic. Meyer inside, fouled on the way up. In front of your own fan base, but also knowing this is a big stage. A lot at stake here. Brooklyn Meyer able to get one and two. Tyson, the sixth one, redshirt senior out of the Twin Cities, one of those players you mentioned that missed all of last year. She and Haley Timmer, who have both come back strong. Richardson able to knock that down. And right on cue, as we were talking about, she was 0 of 5. Now just one of six here in this first half. But that pull-up jumper so difficult to stop when it's on a dime. Over and back the call here. Both teams have gone cold a bit from the floor. With one of their last seven, make two of their last eight is the Jesus. Big bucket to push the lead back up to eight. And now a turnover. Jaden Donovan. De Jesus able to run this down just before the end line. Wood on the outside. Too strong. Donovan though on the O rebounds. Donovan just a monster on the glass. She's going to go get every loose ball. These are extra possessions here for the Blue Devils. Seventh offensive rebound of the first half for Duke. Donovan inside. Even with Byam right in her face, Jaden Donovan. And Aaron Johnson showing a lot of confidence in his freshman Fox. The part of the understanding, the stakes and the heightened stakes of a game like this is knowing when you're going to pick your times to be able to look to score and to be able when you got to pass first. Getting it to Brooklyn Meyer, never a bad idea. De Jesus. Jackson in the corner. By him there. Five to play in the half. Got to be smart with it now. Emily Fox in transition. Fox the freshman. Meyer at the buzzer will not count. Time expires on the opening 20. Duke with a 38 to 30 advantage. Brooklyn Meyer has been South Dakota State's main source of offense. Missing. 15 points in this first half. She's five of six from the field, four of five from the free throw line. She's got to continue to get touches. They've got to find ways to isolate her. But this Duke offense, they are so, they're going to come at you at every position. And it's been about Jane Donovan and Ashlyn Jackson giving them a lift. 14 points from Jackson, four of eight. She goes two of four from behind the arc. Jane Donovan, seven rebounds to go along with her eight points. Remember, she is their leading rebounder so far this season.
and both of them have the ability to change a game in an instant and they're the reason why they've got an eight point lead here going into the second half on the road and their defense playing a big part in that as well duke holding south dakota state to just 23 percent shooting in that second quarter three of 13 from the jacks and Brooklyn Meyer leading the way with those 15 points. But it's also just understanding how teams are going to defend you. Spacing is critical. You've got to read the defense, make yourself available. And when you can get those ISOs, they got to take advantage. Here's Paige Meyer, a quiet first half for her, able to find Brooklyn Meyer inside. 17 now for the reigning player of the year in the summit. That's simple and it's disciplined, and that's what this Jackrabbit offense is about. Now the discipline is also with Duke and what they did in the first half, just three turnovers. A key piece, what Kara Lawson talks about with her team, they got to take care of the basketball. The three in the corner, off the mark, there is Donovan though, another offensive rebound. Eight now for the Blue Devils, that's their 12th second chance point of this game. She's just got a nose for it, she's going to go after every single possession. I had someone tell me many moons ago, offensive rebounding, it's 70% hard, 30% about position. You just want to have to go get the basketball. Donovan averaging eight and eight coming in. That's what she has here so far, is that three drops. Second triple of the game for Madison Mathewitz, the junior from Sleepy Eye, Minnesota. The foul on Brooklyn Meyer. Look at Fournier going to work on the reverse lay-in. Six now in limited action. Kara Lawson going right to her, by the way, out of the halftime interval. Yeah, she is smooth, and she's been that spark off the bench. The question is always, when does she get inserted into the starting lineup? But I think they like her now and what she does. And that type of athleticism, to be able to go and make a play defensively, that's why she's one of the top players coming in as a freshman in the country. For a difference maker on both ends of the floor. She was able to keep the possession alive off the Donovan miss for a moment. Jack Robinson try and settle things down now. Trailing by seven. They led in this first quarter. It was a back and forth opening ten minutes before Duke began to take control. Haley Timmer though trying to reassert South Dakota State's opportunity here. Two threes early in the third quarter to pull back within four. She was also saddled with foul trouble. Didn't oh. see a lot of Haley Timmer in that first half, but you see why she is in the starting lineup in the second. Donovan keeping it rolling on the offensive ends. Double figures now for Jaden Donovan. She's got 12 to go along with those eight rebounds. I feel like the success offensively for Duke Alex has been those mid-range jumpers. Their ability to get to the middle of the lane and finish. A little more aggressive this time, trying to get to the rim and now making it to the free throw line. Well, and they have to do that. You've got a lot going on, but if for Paige Meyer, she knows her scoring is a big piece of what lifts this team. Big offensive rebound by Bayam on the second miss. Paige Meyer on the attack, circling and looking for an opening. Gets her own miss. Mathewitz, or a bump with Richardson. It was contact in the face of Richardson. This is offensive foul, no upgrade, just a common offensive. So Duke basketball. Both of these teams shooting it well to start the half. Each three of five from the floor. Kara Lawson going to the bench again. Akanawa able to find Donovan. And a foul on the way up. She's just trying to move a player out on a block out is going to get that call. And now here, 20 on the reset underneath for Duke. Mathewitz to the bench with those three fouls. The freshman Katie Vasika back on. Here's Fournier muscling it up. Brooklyn Meyer guilty of the foul. Quiet so far. Just six points, three or four from the floor. But now she is headed to the free throw line. For Duke today, we mentioned they've struggled at the free throw line. They were six of six from the strike before that miss. Fournier does get one of two. 45-39. And what that does is it allows Duke to set their pressure. And he made bucket and a made free throw. Now you see the full court. The Jack's able to get it across and find Mesa by him inside. Good finish by the senior big from Wisconsin. We mentioned it at the top. You've got to have the attack mentality against the pressure. They're going to want to swallow you up with the guards in front, but you've got to be able to beat it deep. Fournier cannot connect inside. South Dakota State a chance to get a little closer. They've trailed by as many as 10 in this game.
Meyer finding Meyer inside. Brooklyn Meyer up strong. A new season high now for the player of the year, Brooklyn Meyer. Way to convert in the half court. Ninth turnover of, turnover of the game for the Jacks as Jack's son goes back to work. No offensive rebound this time for the Blue Devils. Fox in transition to Tim of the lay-in. 45-45 with 440 to go in the third. Whatever the Pacific Conference is going to be called in the future. <laughs> we'll just say everybody on the West Coast. There you go. How's that? 45-45 here in the Midwest. A great one brewing between South Dakota State and Duke. Jaden Donovan has been one of the offensive sparks for the Blue Devils. Cannot connect here. It's the Jesus throw in the O glass. Blocked by Brooklyn Meyer. Her third swat of the day. Down low for the Jackrabbits. Four boards for the 6-2 by him off the bench. Brooklyn Meyer inside. Good health defense by Donovan. Jacks might have wished that play would have been allowed to continue, but it will be Jaden Donovan picking up the play. It is the piece of the game that Aaron Johnson and the South Dakota State staff have said, Alex. She's got great vision, and she's able to find open players on a dime. 21 points, 7 of 9 from the floor, 4 rebounds, 3 blocks as well. She'll get a breather with 3.30 to go in the third. South Dakota State with their first lead since the opening stanza. How does Duke respond now? Trailing on the road in this hostile environment. It is Fournier. The handoff to Richardson, who's been quiet today. Reagan Richardson now one of nine, but they come up with the loose basketball. Donovan now 14 and 10. That bucket snap, it was a 0 for 7 drought for Duke. Tyson now off the page, Meyer miss, cannot convert. The Hazers in transition, slowed down by Meyer. Pass intercepted. Haley Timmer. She'll pull up and drain from just inside the free throw line. That is one of the toughest shots to be able to defend. She got a full head of steam out in transition, and Haley Timmer didn't see many minutes in the first half because of fouls. She's been a difference maker here in the second half. Timmer now four for four from the floor, nine points. She averaged nearly 14 a game a season ago. That's where she's at this year. I should say two years ago after missing all of last year. Jack's back up by two. Donovan. Oh, that's a tough finish over by him. It will count and a free throw on the way. All-American. She started 32 games a year ago as a freshman. Kara Lawson looked at these young players and said, you've got to do even more this year. Talk about a bounce back, right? Blue Devils up by one. Six to shoot. Meyer, tough off balance shot. Maybe got bailed out a bit that time. Emma Cable. We know that she can step out and shoot the three. She's going to find open teammates, but her ability, she's picking right back up here in the start of her season senior. Meyer able to get one of two. Tied back up at 50. Less than 90 seconds left in the third quarter. Duke led by eight at the break. South Dakota State has clawed their way back in. Why not go back to Jaden Donovan? This jumper off the mark. Contact though by Byam. As seen from the official, and it's going to send Donovan to the free throw line. Her third attempt here in this game. Brooklyn Meyer, by the way, set the check back in as Donovan does miss them both. The foul on Byam was her third personal. Mesa will stay out there now. Just over a minute left. Paige Meyer trying to go to work. Double teamed on the baseline. It'll be an offensive foul against Paige Meyer. And nowhere for Paige Meyer to go. That offensive foul, it sends it the other direction. The jumper in the lane. Does drop in the end. That's Reagan Richardson. Just her fourth point of the day. South Dakota State's done a great job of slowing her down. They have, and she gets the shooter role even in a hostile gym. Sometimes you only see those usually in your home arena. <laughs> but she's got great touch and her ability to come off screens and make herself available. It's a tough matchup for Duke. Nice entry feed inside. Tyson, but Meyer cannot finish. A rare mistake at the rim from Brooklyn Meyer. Now the shot clock turned off. A great opportunity for Duke to extend the lead going into the fourth. This is about execution right here for the Blue Devils now under 10 seconds. 
Richardson with the basketball. Down low to Fournier. Off the window and in for Toby Fournier. The freshman with the bucket just before the... Welcome back to Brookings. South Dakota State and Duke. A great non-conference matchup between the ACC and the Summit League. 5,500 strong in this building, most of which wearing white, and South Dakota State blue, seeing their team now, which trailed by eight at the break, fight their way back. They took the lead at one point late in the third. They are now just down by two against the number 16 team in the nation. Remember, the Jackrabbits ranked 25th in the coaches' poll this week after defeating Creighton and Wisconsin. No more fouling. That third quarter was our quarter, and it's time to make the fourth ours, too. Let's go get it. Thank you, Anna. Reagan Richardson now with buckets on either side of the interval. She's got six. And we saw right out of the gate with the first possession to start this fourth quarter. What do you mean in isolation for Brooklyn Meyer? They've got to continue to pound that ball into the post. Mesa Byam into the lineup to start this fourth for South Dakota State, giving them another option. As a sophomore, played over 20 plus a year ago, especially in the Summit League and here in their own house. This is a program that has not lost a conference regular season game in three years. In and around the top 15 in the nation. Kara Lawson believes she could have the team that could make a deep run this year after making the Sweet 16 a year ago. They learned a lot from that Sweet 16 appearance, what it takes to be able to win at that high level, and the ACC will do that. And also to have experienced players. You can do everything in practice, but the game environment is just so different. The speed, the pace, the decision making, all of those things Vanessa De Jesus does so well. You're seeing that on display today. Meyer on the drive. Beautiful step over and finish from Paige Meyer. Eight to shoot. That's Jackson. Bounced it off of the foot. And it'll be South Dakota State basketball. In opportune times, their transition defense has been a work in progress. You've got to take care of it. You've got to value the possession, especially on the road. Byam, an open look for three. Mesa Byam. Tie basketball game at 59. Donovan, De Jesus with two to shoot. Jaden Donovan, another offensive rebound. A fresh 20 now for the Blue Devils. And this is where Duke can wear you down, Alex, as they just forced you to have to go one possession after another. Jackson fading away. A career day for Jaden Donovan. Second chance points. They don't necessarily show up on a stat sheet as a difference maker individually, but plays like that will set things apart. And that was Steele. Donovan forcing the turnover. In transition, the pull up. Yes! 21 now for Jaden Donovan. Mathewitz for three. Nobody inside on the old glass for South Dakota State. Donovan can carry away. Jackson on the drive. Well, Timber's going to be called for the foul. It was a late whistle. Jackson, who had 14 in that first half, she's had a quiet second, but gets herself to the free throw line here and misses the first of two. Jackson able to get one of two. They picked it up on both ends of the floor. They've made four of their last five field goals and have turned STSU over on the last couple of trips. Feels like a big possession here for the Jackson. Yeah, seat. this is huge right here. You've got to be able to handle the pressure. The last three trips, nothing for South Dakota State. Two misses and a turnover. This is where you've got to use that spacing. Try to put the ball in the hands of Brooklyn Meyer. They have five to shoot. The seek of the freshman. Tough shot. Did not touch iron. You can see Aaron Johnston was trying to get yep. his freshman point guard, Emily Fox, to look at Brooklyn Meyer inside. The easiest way to allow Duke to attack you. That pressure out front then becomes so simple. And Paige Meyer headed back to the scorer's table. She will check in at the next whistle. She's been key to running this offense for the Jackrabbits. Richardson on the blow-by will head to the free-throw line. 
But it is her leadership, that veteran leadership that she's brought to the floor for Carolina. And she's learning also to be a more of a vocal leader for this Duke team with a lot of young players and some new faces you mix in. Stop the bleeding here eventually. That's where the ball's got to go. Brooklyn Meyer inside. Tyson with the offensive rebound and the foul. And now Tyson headed to the free throw line. Another one of those veterans makes a lot of people nervous when they see South Dakota State on their schedule. Tyson now 0 for 4 from the line, but she gets her own miss and finds Paige Meyer, who does not miss from deep. Jack Rabbit's back within four. 340 to go. Delaney Thomas inside. It's been a quiet day for her as well, the starting center for Duke. All five are going to crash the glass. We've seen it on every single possession here this afternoon. That's why it's so important not only to put a body on him to block out, but you've got to go after that loose ball. Richardson cannot connect on the inbounds pass. Meyer looking to push the pace. Back to Timmer. It's off entry feed. Thomas was waiting for it. Yeah, she read it the whole way. Just too much eye contact. Hallie Timmer had her on the first pump fake. You take two or three, it lets the defense see exactly what you're going to do. 13 turnovers now, forced by this Blue Devil defense. One of the best defensive units in the nation. They've got a four-point advantage and the basketball. Richardson on the drive. Offensive foul. The call. I think if you thought either one of these teams was going to roll over, one at home and one with a tough spot on the road, yeah, you were think again. very, very mistaken. Brooklyn Meyer, she has been the star once again today. A great feat again. High to low. 25 now for Brooklyn Meyer. That 11th is game of her career, over 20 points. You got to love that dynamic of the high low with Mesa Byam, who can extend the defense out to the three, but is able to feed Meyer on that low post. Two point ball game. Jackson, the two man game with Donovan. Another tough reverse layup for Jaden Donovan. And the Blue Devils have done a fantastic job all day today to be able to read that slip screen, make themselves available, keep the possession alive, one on one. By him again, trying to feed the post. Richardson read it up to Jackson. The foul will be against by him on the initial lay in. The bucket will not count. Third in that ACC poll, a stacked conference now with 18 teams, but when they can get out. Led by Notre Dame, the preseason favorite. Jackson able to make two free throws. They will also take on number four, Texas, later in the non con. Not afraid to test themselves against the best in the nation. They've put up a good fight today, but the buckets have started to stop falling. That three by Jackson off the mark. That was an awful sentence by me, by the way. They've stopped falling. How about that? <laughs> there have been some empty trips here for South Dakota State, and that has been the struggle as of late. But you have to give credit that this has been an aggressive defensive mentality from Duke all day. You knew you were going to see it from the jump. They stay at you. They come at you for 40 minutes. It's all about how they wear you down and the possession after possession where you think you might have a shot. They've had great help side. They contest every single look. This is a very good Duke basketball team. With all that said, it is just a two possession game. 65 seconds to go. Taina Mayer. Richardson nearly stripped. Big stop by the Jackrabbits now. Under a minute to go. By him in transition. Offensive foul. And that is number five on Mesa Byam. Meyer able to get it, or Mayer, excuse me, able to get it to DeJesus. Jackson, difficult pass. Richardson able to complete it. And now the Jacks will foul. Mathemus will commit the personal. That is her fifth. Just 60% as a team from the line. They've been good today, though. 13 of 17. And as I say that, the Jesus, the Duke team, quality minutes off the bench. The veteran point guard who was a starter before being injured last year. Now in a backup role behind Taina Mayer. Hasn't felt like that today. Big bucket to make it a three possession game now. Jackrabbits have to hurry. Paige Meyer. Donovan. It'll be an offensive foul. Meyer on the inbound, finding Vasika. The freshman able to finish. Quick timeouts.
If they don't get a steal here, you'd expect Duke to be heading right back to the free throw line. Richardson, the cool inbounds to DeJesus. Meyer with the foul. And Duke has been so good on the O glass today. 14 offensive rebounds. Just in case DeJesus does not connect, she does make the first. Kelly Tyson, they're able to grab the rebound. DeJesus, one of two once again. The Summer League does a challenge with the Big Sky to create a few great non-conference matchups between those two leagues. They will host one of those games and also take on Eastern Washington on the road. They still have a chance in this one. Down by six. Zimmer over Richardson. Tough take. The redshirt junior able to get the basket to drop. Very good test for this Duke squad in just a week or so in Las Vegas. 20 seconds left now. Meyer fronting the inbounds. It does come to DeJesus, who is fouled. Out at that point guard position has absolutely come through. And you see it on display here on the road. And the young lady from California knocks them both down. Paige Beckers had 24 in that game, but it took her 21 shots to get there. 19 seconds left now. Here is Timmer, the best three-point threat on the floor. The step back does not drop. Meyer, though, the rebound to Fox for three. Emily Fox, the freshman stepping up. Jack's back within three. No One time. possession ball game now. No timeout for Duke. They're not able to advance the basketball. That's why they have to take it out in the full court. Second three of the day for Fox. She's got six in the biggest game of her young career. Jackson misses the front ends. She's got 17 today. She was 7 of 8 from the line before that miss. This is the big one now. Can Duke extend this to a two-possession game? Yes, they can. 10.6 to go. Jacks have to hustle. Down by four. Timmer with Mayer on her. Shot blocked. Tyson to keep it alive. Time is going to run out, though. And the Duke Blue Devils will escape. First bank.